what's going on guys? I can officially say that we are in fall ball season. Unfortunately, I live in the Chicagoland area, the Midwest. For those who do live in the Midwest, you know this is, it's coming. It's, we're here right now, it's getting cold, wet, soggy, uh, unable to play golf outside on actual grass. And so I figure, you know what, why not? Why not have an opportunity for me to kind of share my thoughts on my indoor setup? I love this net that I got just last year. I found this one net called Sporino. Sporino? Spornia? Spornia. There we go. I think it's Spornia. But I kind of want to just kind of show you around what my net looks like and just give you my take on why I love this net. All right, so let's check it out here. Just to give you a heads up, this room is our sunroom. So I got two younger kids. Um, my kids end up using this as a play place or whatever. They play with their toys. <laughs> Look at this. So, all right, why don't we check it out here. So here's the Spornia net. And basically, this is my setup. I think it's called the Spornia SPG7 net. I think I paid about maybe around three, just under $300. And this thing, man, I love it so much. I've gone through so many different nets from like Amazon basic nets to Callaway net to even garage sale nets, the standard like pole and net where you hook it up and they got, they got the job done, but I feel like nothing like this. Let me tell you just like maybe the my top five reasons of why I like this so much. One is I just really like how it's compact. So my sunroom here alone is maybe like 14, 14 by maybe 16 feet. And so that's plenty of room for me. And in terms of height, I'd say above like 10 feet, maybe like maybe 15 feet up. And so in terms of the height of this, the, the size works really well i think this size would work really well in the garage so one just just the size of it the, how compact it is the second thing that i really like about this is that it comes with this like target sheet and when you hit it it's actually really soft and quiet so that you're not getting like a huge like thunk or anything i know with like some of the amazon nets they give you like this tarp and when you hit it it's just a loud like thunk it's like a really soft like cloth it, the nice thing about this tarp too is that you can get rid of it, you can take it down, and you don't even need to use the tarp, and you can just have a, a netting and use the netting at the back. All right, so my third thing that I really love, and it's a simple feature, and I, I really like the little details that they put into this is the ball retriever. So when you hit the ball, and it kind of like this netting right here, the ball would just kind of fall right, like right back to you. So that you don't have to like constantly hit the ball, go grab the balls, hit the ball and grab them. So I like this, the fact that they're able to make the net at an incline where if you had the ball like this. So I'm going to put this camera down. So if like I hit the. There you go. See, it comes right back to you. Just the little details that they put into this. I mean, it really tells you that they put a lot of thought into making a quality net. So that's three. The, the fourth thing that I really like, it's more of a safety thing. And so actually, I guess it's two in one. So it's this. It's this part right here. Not only the roof or the top netting that I like, I and mean, I'm going to combine this with four is the side netting. So I actually end up bought, I ended up buying uh, the side net here. Uh, it's been nice to have that protection right there because I have, believe me or not, I have hit it so many, so many shanks to the right and we need to stop that of course. But I'm just glad that also gives me a peace of mind that knowing that, that there's something there. Not only that, we have a hungry, hungry caterpillar he might be able to help with any of my shanks as well too. Also, Cookie Monster. They're my they're my fan base basically cheering me on to hit the ball well. Anyways.
All right, so number five. So number five, I love how, like I said, how compact this net is. And not only compact, but the fact that this net can fold down in one piece. This net, you don't even need to like, I guess there's like three components that you need to pull out. It's the sticks, but pretty much for the whole like, whole net in itself, it's one piece and you can fold it in one piece. And then you store it in a bag and it's gone. If I need to take this sporing unit down quickly, if we have some guests coming, I can quickly take all of that, put it down and compact and hide it away. And so I'll kind of show you what that looks like. So usually I start off with this top roof part or netting. Take the side off. This is pretty similar to a tent where the pole uh, collapses easily. Just break it down. Bam. All right, so this is down. Got all the side net in the inside. And then there are two poles. So here's one, collapse it down. And then here's the second one. Collapse it down, put that here. So at first when I was trying to collapse this, it was kind of confusing, but once you kind of get used to it, um, it goes by fast. So of course get kids toys out of there, the Legos. All right, so you fold this, kind of like a hot dog or a taco. Bring this side in, and then you bring this side in. Collapses. Here's the bag that it comes with. Throw that in there. All right, so basically the whole net is in this bag right here. The poles come with like a, a cloth case, but I don't really use it. I just shove it in here. All right, so Spornia net here, SPG7. If I have nothing but great things to say about this net, for those who, I guess this is for anybody, but specifically those who are getting ready for the winter, this is a great option for you to look into if you want a net you want to invest in. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like, and then until next time, talk to you guys later.